Good morning, Christ Covenant. Just want to let you guys know where we're headed Sunday uh, with the sermon will be in Hebrews chapter 12. We're going to look at verses 25 uh, through 29. And what we're going to consider is the topic of being made to worship. You know, there's a good question that we could always ask is, why were we created? And the funda fundamental reason we were created is we were created to to worship God. In fact, you see this as early as the garden, the fact that he has made people who are in his image, who are to then to be fruitful and multiply throughout the earth. Essentially, the command there is fill the earth with people who are made in my image, fill the earth with worshipers. And that is still our purpose. That's the purpose for why you were born. And it's the purpose for why you stay here as a Christian so that you can help uh, one worship God, but also develop other worshipers. And so we're going to think about that topic of worship. And what we're going to see and what will uh, my main idea Sunday will simply be this. We must worship God because God is worthy based upon who he is, just the, 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 the nature of uh, his character and his person and his holiness and his power and his sovereignty, uh, his providence, all the things we can say about him, all the attributes of God because of who he is, he's worthy of worship. And then because of what he has done, namely what he has done in the gospel and sending his son uh, to die in our place, to, to bear the judgment that our rebellion and sin deserves, and then to raise him from the dead in power, uh, showing he is exactly who he said he is. Uh, and he has done exactly what he said uh, he has done. And he will do exactly what he says he will do. And so our rightful response to God for who he is and what he has done is worship. We are to offer him not just singing on Sundays. We are to offer him our entire lives, our entire lives, as you see in places like Romans 12, are to be a living sacrifice. That is, This is our acceptable worship to God, Paul tells the church in Rome. And so we're going to consider three questions on Sunday, three fundamental questions around the topic of worship. And it's simply going to be this. What is true worship? Why is he worthy of worship? And then uh, how do we worship? And so we're going to consider those three questions. So in preparation for Sunday, read through Hebrews 12. We're going to look particularly at verses 25 through 29, but I would recommend reading 18 all the way down through uh, 29. As you can see what the writer of Hebrews is saying we are doing as we worship. I'm going to read just a little bit of it now because it's so wonderful. So read through the text, consider what the Lord is saying through the, the author of Hebrews, and let's come together and study on Sunday. Again, let me just read a few verses in preparation for Sunday because it's so wonderful. And this is what he says about our worship. He says, you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to innumerable angels in the festal gathering and to the assembly of the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of the righteous made perfect. And then listen to this, and to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. Look forward to seeing you Sunday.